How you doing guys and welcome to part 5 of how to get a 7 in your IA. This is the last part, if you haven't checked out the other videos, the links are in the descriptions below, so make sure you check those ones out before watching this one. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I put up here, and if this video helps you out at all, make sure you drop a like on it for me. So part 5, communication. The communication criteria runs throughout your IA, so at any point during your IA, the assessor could be looking at your communication skills. So the first part of the communication is the structure. Is it easy to follow? And a really good test for this is at the end of your IA, ask somebody to read your report and ask them, did they need to go back and reread sections of that report? If they answer yes to that question, then you should reconsider the structure that you've put for your IA. You need to consider the subject specific terminology. Have you used it in the right context? Is it the right term to be using there and then? Or perhaps you haven't used a term and you could to present something better. So make sure you check that you're using the right terms that are relevant for the diploma program. The next thing is the presentations of graphs and tables. Making sure that you have headings on your graphs, making sure the graphs are labeled with the, the right units, and they, they are to the right scale and that they're easy to read, that there's not too many things going on in those graphs. Make it really clear so the person can see the trend. In your tables, make sure that you've got the units and the uncertainties and that they're clearly labeled and that all the data is presented in the table. So the communication section, it's another one where you should be trying to get the four out of the four. If you come up with a nicely well-structured IA that is clear and easy to follow, most students would be able to gain access to the highest criteria marks. So this is the final video on the criteria for how to get a seven on your IA. If there's anything else you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and make a video for that question. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.